Hutchins and Guilford progeria syndrome, or progeria, is an extremely rare fatal disease categorized by accelerated aging in children. Children with progeria display accelerated aging eight times that of unaffected children. It is estimated that approximately 200 to 250 children worldwide are currently affected by progeria. Symptoms usually begin to manifest in the first year and include growth failure, loss of body fat and hair, age-looking skin, and stiffness of joints. As children get older, they suffer from osteoporosis, arthrosclerosis, heart disease, and stroke. Mental development is not affected, however. Average lifespan is 13 years old. Unfortunately, there is currently no cure for progeria. A class of drugs called farnesyl transferase inhibitors, which were originally developed for cancer, have shown promise in the lab for reversing the cellular abnormalities caused by progeria. This drug is currently in its second clinical trial. In 2003, a collaboration of researchers published their findings in the journal Nature. The paper presents evidence that the cause of progeria is due to mutations in lamin A. The single base substitution from a C to a T within exon 11 of the lamin A gene creates a deformed progerin protein that disrupts proper scaffolding of the nuclear lamina. Progerin is involved in the natural process of aging, but the severe overproduction of the protein is what causes progeria in children. In the paper, researchers targeted progeria fibroblasts with antibodies against lamin A and saw deformities throughout the nuclear membrane. The mutation in the lamin A gene is a spontaneous or de novo mutation. In other words, it is not passed down from generation to generation. This disorder results from a random autosomal dominant defect. Since progeria is a disorder of advanced aging, questions arise regarding the role of lamin A in telomere protection. We know that telomere length is associated with the aging process. Previous studies have shown that patients with progeria have shortened telomeres of varying lengths. A proposed mechanism is cellular failure to repair DNA at telomeres. If wild-type lamin A interacts with the sheltering complex and assists in telomere maintenance and protection, then we predict that a mutation in lamin A at the interaction site between lamin A and sheltering should result in a similar phenotype to that of a progeria cell. To test this hypothesis, we will use deletion mapping, not only to induce the desired phenotype, but also to locate the interaction point between lamin A and sheltern in the process. This may also lead to the discovery of other necessary interactive or active sites on lamin A, which will give us a better understanding of the interaction networks that lead to progeria. Mouse fibroblasts incubated with radioactive nucleotides will be used for the deletions. There will also be one radioactive wild-type cell line functioning as the control. Following this, the DNA will be subject to southern blotting in order to screen for abnormal telomere length. This will allow us to see which deletions or combinations of deletions lead to abnormal telomere lengths and thus may be essential for the proper functioning and maintenance of telomeres.